Flight Boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're now listening to the mind of an Antares Moon, Flight Boss, the Archangel Uriel. And I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And right now, I want to talk about are you losing your mind? And why do we say things like this? Why do we say things like, am I losing my mind? Am I losing my love? Am I losing my self esteem? But most preferably, am I losing my mind? Now, why do we say that? Now, y'all know I got to break some things down before we get into the video so you can get a clear understanding while I'm breaking down the video. Like I said, as spirits, we are creating bodies and forms to inhabit, to experience what we our creations as a spirit in time. So we can have time to experience it. Because us as, as spirits, that imagination will come and go so fast, there's no form or shape to hold on to. So we create shapes and forms, which is gas, lights, sounds. See what I'm saying? So when you say losing my mind, your mind is a form. See what I'm saying? Because what do you do with your mind? You create thought forms. See what I'm saying? You create thought patterns. You receive thoughts from and then you create thought forms and patterns from the thoughts you receive so you know this is a receiving machine so you know this is a machine one of the first forms and bodies one of the lightest bodies you created for yourself you could correlate mercury uh, you could correlate mercury with your mind see what I'm saying so it's a body so like I said if you're in a body that got control over a whole bunch of other shapes and forms based upon your spirit your spirit been traveling astral traveling so long and been developing so many shapes and forms due to the due to the fact it been going into forms possessing it dying transforming then developing enough information from that experience before it died then once it died it's able to go out and create a more efficient body for itself to sustain its realms in so you got so look at it like this your mind is like one of the machines that you have right and once it once it wear and tear, you have to charge it up. This is why you can go to my videos, <coughs> my video about sleep. Why do you sleep? Because when you exercise and wear out a part of the body, those cells and blood cells and things in that area of the body needs to rest. So you have to recharge it. So when, once your spirit, your spirit can't use an outdated or worn out form. So either the form have to recharge or the form has to be transformed. Now, the older that form get, it's going to expire and eventually has to transform. So the spirit can no, no longer use any part of that uh, shape or form, that body. But if the body's still young or able to move, then nine times out of ten, the spirit can just let it recharge. So when you overwork yourself with one of your bodies, you will knock it out. So for an example, say you got knocked out. What do they mean by that? You got knocked out. Why do you say that? I don't care what scientific term you come up with, this is why you say that. When you get knocked out, your spirit get knocked out of your body. So something may have happened to your body where it was your spirit was unable to use it at that time. So if you got knocked out, that means something happened real fast that was such a catastrophic event that your body got knocked unconscious. Now conscious is one of your first light bodies that you created for yourself. So this is like the sun. The sun is the first light body that you create for yourself. So your spirit don't have no shape and form. So it creates this first gas, hydrogen, this first atom, this first light, whatever like that, in order to experience itself, to represent itself. So this is why the sun represents ego and everything. Because this is what we can see as your expression. Because your spirit, if it didn't have no form, you wouldn't be able to see your spirit's expression. So your spirit has to create a body for itself. You see what I'm saying? And that's you in the astral realm, right? And say this is this realm. You in the astral realm. Say say this is the astral realm. And then you come in this realm whew, and blow it up. And then whatever you blow it up, that shape and form, it it like have a light to it. It's like a light to it. You see what I'm saying? It glisten because you're utilizing that light. You know what I'm saying? But you the spirit itself ain't the light. So you know what I'm saying? When you say you're losing your mind, 
Say your mind is a, is a body that you created for yourself. Now say you're overthinking, you're over wearing out that body, you're overthinking, you're over worrying, you're over stressing, or you're just o trying to over analyze something, or you're being too logical, try to over intellect something, or something's on your mind heavy. Here's what's happening. You're over stress overusing that body once that body wear out like I said your body these are your creations these are like machines that your spirit create to to use you see what I'm saying so once you wear that out it has to charge up so how, how it will play out in your life if you're not let if you overuse your mind and you didn't let it charge up it's gonna start acting case it's not gonna act right like if you had your computer on too long or too many programs running on that too many programs running at same at one time too many thoughts running in your head at one time and you're thinking too hard about something what's gonna happen is you're gonna wear out your mind and once you wear it out your spirit can't use it effectively cuz it's too tired you gotta let it charge up so your spirit gonna use it inaccurately you see what I'm saying so to the point that you almost gonna knock it out yourself to the point that you overuse your mind you end up falling asleep <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? You're sitting there thinking too hard and go to sleep or daydream or something. Then your spirit can't use it. So when someone you're daydreaming and somebody trying to snap you out of your daydream, depending on how deep you in it and how hard you think about yourself and go within and shit like that, it's going to be hard for your spirit to utilize that body, a.k.a. wake it up. You know what I'm saying? Because your spirit utilize your son to travel through your body. You see what I'm saying? To uh, give light, aka life, to uh, all the cells. So this is why you don't see, if you are a blood cell within the being we are in, and this being we are in has a son, this is why you don't see the sun based upon your perspective all the time. So you think the sun is going up and down, but you need to understand the sun is the solar plexus. So it's going on its own rotation. So it's on a rotation in the center. So think about it like this. If you are a blood cell within a being and you think the sun is going up and down, you need to understand what's how you're standing not how the sun moving the sun is not here for you you here for you here coming up with reasons thinking that the sun is here this is what you need to understand if the sun appear to be going up and down then you as a blood cell you need to understand how you're standing within this body and then you'll be at, you'll be able to how, you'll be able to understand how the blood cells within you is standing within you so for an example if you're standing straight up right this means your blood cells in you is standing like this so they cross you so if you're standing straight up your blood cells and you are standing up sideways so for an example if the Sun appears to be going up and down based upon how we're relative to then that mean we're standing inaccurately to the center say that all right hold on Dang, my motherfucker, but I don't know. This motherfucking camera ain't even warm me. That is motherfucking about to die. But look, for the most part, look, now look. Say this is say this is the being standing upright. So you can look at this from the perspective as this is you, or you can look at this from the perspective of this is the being you are in. Now, for the most part, this is an illusion. This is why see everything is an illusion, and why you need to understand. Because look, say this was the sun. Say this was the sun, right? Now, the sun is your solar plexus. So it's always going around your center. So see what I'm saying? It goes around the center. You see what I'm saying? So for the most part, what you think the sun look up and down, you need to pay more attention to the perspective of where you're standing at. See, y'all get confused th into thinking that the sun is here to do something for y'all. No, the sun is already doing what the fuck it's doing. You just need to understand, the, as a lesser life, the perspective, your role, and your position, you motherfucking play. So for the most part, this is what it means. If you stand in an upright being, or this is a stand, say this is you, right? Then the blood cells within you, they live their life like this. They cross you out. You know what I'm saying? They cross you out. So, reason why you think the sun appear to be going up and down, say you are the blood cell in the life that we are in. So, for an example, when you, and you're in an upright being, right? Say you're a blood cell. So, you look up like, so you stand up like this. So, when you look up, this is the best way I can explain it to y'all. When you look up, you're basically looking at either the, the, the stomach or the back of a person. You see what I'm saying? I don't know which one ought to be to be there. And when you look down, you basically the same same thing. You're looking at the either at the person on their stomach or their back. Rather, you're looking at the stomach. So when you're looking for based upon this 360 our surroundings, whatever direction you're looking in could either be you straight ahead could either be the head 
or whatever like that. But based upon the realm we in, we can't see that far out in the illusion based upon the organ we are in. You see what I'm saying? So for the most part, when we see the sun, as far as the solar plexus, it's an illusion compared to us because we think it's going up and down. But that's just based upon where we're standing. Um, now, since we're in an upright being, right, and the same way you are an upright being and your sun going across your solar plexus, right, is going across your middle, right, then the blood cells within it, in order for them to be seeing it, for it to appear, for it to look like it's, going up and down then as blood cells you must be standing within this upright being like this and the blood cells within you must be st you are upright being your blood cells within you must be standing in you like this so when the sun go around the solar plexus right you see how to us the sun appears to be going over our head under our feet over our head under our feet because we are in a being that's standing upright like this and their solar plexus going like this same way you are being that staying up like this and you are a solar plexus in this being that the sun is the first physical light and is and the the blood cells in you you standing up like this and your solar plexus going like going like this and the blood cells within you is standing in you like this so when the sun solar plexus go like this it appeared to them to be going over their head and under their feet so they talking to each other like they standing upright but really they standing sideways to you crossing you out the same way we're doing to the being we are in you get it and this is what you need to understand with the solar ple with the uh the sun, the first conscious body we doing also is doing in us as a uh, as a body. Now, so for the most part, it's the solar plexus. So it's, it's on its own rotation in the center. So it's always in the center. So this is what it's doing. It's going up into our head space, rotating, going down into our bottom space, rotating, giving all the life to all the organs and cells, the light, a.k.a. light, life. But here's the thing. All the planets beside it follows it. So for the most part, the sun never declines. It never declinates. You know what I'm saying? It never inclines or declinates. So it does it based upon its perspective. But since we're on one of the other organs, aka one of the planets, um, following this to us is is always rising. Is always ascending. Because to us, at being in another organ or another planet, we could be the only ones declining, declinating, or inclining, uh, ascending from the sun perspective. So being on a planet relative to the sun could only appear to be either above the sun or below the sun. You see what I'm saying? But the sun itself, this is why it always appear to be rising because it always appear to be in its own center rotation and we're just following its own center rotation. So relative to us, we could be below it or higher than, but relative to it, it's always rising. It's always ascending. This is why it's not always the same time or it's not always the same amount of light hitting the same amount of world at the same time. It time when when it's 6 a.m. in one spot, it's going to be it's it's going to be nighttime somewhere else. So this let you know it's gradually transitioning. You see what I'm saying? So it's not a it's not a situation where it's up or down, where it's just is not in your location at the Pacific time. And the sun is all and and relative where the sun is at, the reason why it appears that the sun is always rising, because the sun is always in the center. And we're following, trying to keep up with the center. So even though the sun so the sun gonna always appear to be rising to us because we're gonna be the ones trying to understand how it's relative to us. Where it seek if we was the center, it'd be the other way around. See what I'm saying? That's how you know we're not on a planet or a star or an organ that's in the center. You see what I'm saying? Flight boss, bitch. Goddamn air. Eee.